Welcome to Celeb Memorial TV, the place where we celebrate and honor the legacies of remarkable individuals whose talents and achievements have left a memorable impact on our world. In each episode, we share news, heartfelt tributes, and cherished memories of those who have recently passed. Subscribe to our channel to stay connected and join our community in remembering and celebrating these extraordinary lives. Join us as we pay tribute to their enduring contributions and keep their stories alive. Janice Page, an esteemed actress and singer from the golden age of Hollywood, passed away at the age of 101 on June 2nd. Her career, spanning nearly six decades, showcased her versatile talents both on screen and on stage, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. Born Donna Mae Chayden in Tacoma, Washington on September 16, 1922, Paige's journey into stardom began at a young age. Moving to Los Angeles after high school, she quickly made her mark as a singer at the Hollywood Canteen during World War II, entertaining troops and even serving as a pinup model. This visibility led to a contract with Warner Brothers, where she began her film career, eventually gracing both the big and small screens with her presence. Paige shone in a variety of roles, from musicals and comedies to dramatic films, Notably, her performance in the Broadway musical The Pajama Game and her roles in films like Silk Stockings and Please Don't Eat the Daisies highlighted her dynamic abilities as an actress. Her television career was equally prolific, with memorable appearances in shows like It's Always Jan, which she starred in and helped create. Beyond her professional achievements, Paige was known for her spirited personality and resilience. Despite personal and health challenges, including a battle to regain her voice later in life, she remained a beloved figure in Hollywood and an advocate for her peers. Her openness about her experiences with sexual assault also underscored her courage and willingness to speak out for justice. Janice Page's legacy is one of talent, tenacity, and grace. Her contributions to the arts enriched the lives of those who watched her perform, and her dedication to her craft will continue to inspire future generations of performers. Her passing marks the end of an era, but her influence on the entertainment world will undoubtedly endure. Colin Gibb, the spirited musician behind the iconic party anthem, Agadoo, passed away at the age of 70 on June 2nd. As an original member of the British band Black Lace, Gibb's jovial stage presence and catchy tunes became synonymous with festive gatherings across the globe, leaving a legacy of joy and dance. Born Colin Routh on December 8, 1953, Gibbs' musical journey was marked by both vibrancy and a knack for entertainment. Joining Black Lace in 1976, he quickly became a central figure in bringing the group to international fame. Black Lace's performance at the 1979 Eurovision Song Contest with the song Mary Ann showcased their distinctive energy, setting the stage for further success. The pinnacle of Gibbs' career came in 1984 with the release of Aga Du, a song that not only dominated the charts but also became a cultural phenomenon. Despite its playful, sometimes divisive reception, Agadu sold over one million copies worldwide and remains a staple at parties and celebrations. The track's infectious rhythm and Gibbs' charismatic delivery captured the hearts of fans around the world, establishing him as a fixture in the music and entertainment industry. Beyond his achievements with Black Lace, Gibb was dedicated to charitable efforts, notably through the creation of Agadu Day in 1997, which raised significant funds for Marie Curie Cancer Care. His commitment to philanthropy was as integral to his character as his music, highlighting his compassion and community spirit. Gibb's later years saw him continuing to perform in Tenerife and collaborating with other artists, never losing his passion for music and entertainment. His retirement in 2024 marked the end of an era for those who grew up with his music, and his subsequent passing was a poignant reminder of his impact. Colin Gibbs' legacy is one of bringing people together through music, characterized by his light-hearted approach and enduring tunes. Agadu and other hits will continue to echo in dance halls and family gatherings, a testament to a career that celebrated the lighter side of life. As fans around the world remember him, they recall not just the music, but the joy and communal spirit it fostered. Bill Walton, who passed away at the age of 71 on May 27, from colorectal cancer, was an American professional basketball player whose impact on and off the court 
left an indelible mark on the sports world. Renowned for his play with the UCLA Bruins under coach John Wooden, Walton won three consecutive National College Player of the Year awards from 1972 to 1974, leading UCLA to two NCAA championships and contributing to an 88-game winning streak. Selected as the first overall pick in the 1974 NBA draft, Walton brought the Portland Trail Blazers their first NBA championship in 1977, earning the NBA Finals MVP that same year. The following season, he was honored as the NBA's most valuable player. Despite his professional career being plagued by foot injuries, Walton's resilience and skill on the court were undeniable. He later found success with the Boston Celtics, where he earned the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award in the 1985-86 season and his second NBA championship. After retiring, Walton overcame a stuttering impediment and embarked on a second career as a beloved and distinctive sportscaster, earning an Emmy Award in 1991. His enthusiastic commentary enriched the broadcasts of many basketball games, bringing his unique perspective and infectious love for the game to fans everywhere. Off the court, Walton was known for his deep appreciation for music, particularly the Grateful Dead, and his active engagement in social and political causes. His towering presence was matched by his big heart and intellectual curiosity, which made him a cherished figure not only in sports, but also in the communities he touched. Bill Walton's legacy is not just in the records he set or the games he won, but in the joy, wisdom, and resilience he shared with the world. His contributions to basketball and his courageous battles with numerous injuries have left a lasting inspiration for many to cherish. Roger Fox a monumental figure in New Zealand's jazz scene, passed away at the age of 71 on May 27. Born in Christchurch in 1953, Fox grew up in a family deeply entrenched in music. His early exposure to the musical arts under the guidance of his parents set the stage for a lifetime of influence and innovation in jazz. Fox's early career saw him pivot from a potential classical trajectory to a focus on jazz and contemporary music. He founded the renowned Roger Fox Big Band in 1973, which not only became a staple in New Zealand's music scene but also achieved international acclaim, performing at prestigious venues like the Montreux and Monterey Jazz Festivals. His band was the first from New Zealand to grace the stage at Montreux, marking a significant milestone in the country's cultural export. Beyond his performances, Fox dedicated much of his career to jazz education, influencing generations of musicians as a senior lecturer at the New Zealand School of Music. His efforts extended beyond the classroom as he organized workshops and brought international jazz icons to New Zealand, enriching the local jazz community. His commitment to fostering talent and advocating for jazz as an integral part of musical education has left an indelible mark on many. Fox's collaborations were not limited to jazz alone. He bridged genres, working with classical musicians and contemporary artists to expand the reach and understanding of jazz music. His innovative projects, like reimagining the works of New Zealand musicians for jazz orchestration, showcased his versatility and commitment to evolving the jazz genre. Recognized as a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Fox's accolades reflect his profound impact on music and culture. His legacy is not just in the sounds he produced or the bands he directed, but in the spirit of exploration and education he instilled in his students and audiences. As tributes pour in, it is clear that Roger Fox's influence will resonate in the jazz world and beyond for generations to come. Richard Ferrangi, who passed away at the age of 86 on May 19, was an American actor renowned for his vivid portrayals of mobsters and tough characters etching a memorable mark on both film and television. Born on August 3, 1937, in Brooklyn, New York, Forongi's life before acting was as colorful as the characters he played, with early years marked by time spent as a butcher and a more troubled past that included armed robbery. Forongi's acting career was launched with a role in the classic film Serpico, but he is perhaps best remembered for his compelling performances in Midnight Run as Tony Darvo, and in Carlito's way as Peter Amadeso. His portrayal of Detective Joe Marinero in Sidney Lumet's Prince of the City showcased his ability to bring depth and authenticity to complex roles. 
His character in Repo Man, Arnold Plechner, remains a fan favorite for his gritty and explosive lines that captured the essence of his tough-as-nails persona. Aside from his film and TV roles, Forongi contributed to the world of literature by sharing his life's journey in his memoir, From the Mob to the Movies, published in October 2020. His transition from a life marked by criminal activities to the big screen was nothing short of remarkable, providing a narrative of redemption and transformation that was both inspiring and instructive. In retirement, Forongi enjoyed the quieter life in the Hudson Valley of New York, a stark contrast to the bustling city streets of his youth and the intense characters he portrayed. His passing marks the end of a unique chapter in the history of American cinema, where he not only entertained but also left an indelible impact on the film industry with his distinctive talent and formidable presence. His legacy will live on through his memorable performances and his personal story of change and second chances. Frank Ifield, who passed away at the age of 86 on May 18th, was a pioneering figure in the world of country music, blending traditional elements with a unique flair for yodeling. Born in the United Kingdom but raised in Australia, Ifield's career spanned continents and decades, leaving an indelible mark on both the music and entertainment industries. From his early days performing hillbilly music in rural Australia to his meteoric rise in the UK, Ifield's voice became synonymous with hits like I Remember You and Love Sick Blues which topped charts and won hearts worldwide. His mastery of yodeling, a skill he honed meticulously, set him apart in an era dominated by rock and roll and pop, allowing him to carve a niche that was uniquely his. In 1986, Ifield faced a significant challenge when pneumonia led to the removal of part of a lung and damage to his vocal cords, dramatically affecting his singing ability. However, his resilience shone through as he gradually recovered, continuing to influence the music world through his performances and recordings. Ifield's contributions to music were recognized with numerous accolades, including induction into the Australian Roll of Renown and the ARIA Hall of Fame. His receipt of the Medal of the Order of Australia in 2009 underscored his significant impact on the arts and his enduring legacy as an entertainer. Offstage, Ifield was also known for his personal warmth and dedication to his family, surviving a tumultuous health battle and continuing to inspire with his commitment to the arts. His autobiography, I Remember Me, co-written with Pauline Halford, offers a glimpse into the life of a man who was not only a music legend, but also a fighter, an educator, and a beloved public figure. Frank Ifield's death marks the end of an era for fans of traditional country and yodeling music but his recordings and the memories of his groundbreaking performances will continue to inspire future generations. His ability to blend different musical traditions into a coherent and appealing style leaves a lasting legacy that transcends geographical and cultural boundaries. Breaking news. News 1. Jurassic Park star. Sam Neill celebrates two years cancer-free. Beloved actor Sam Neill, known for his role in Jurassic Park, has fantastic news. After a courageous battle, he's been in remission for two years from stage 3 blood cancer. Feeling great and excited about his upcoming projects, Neil emphasizes his love for acting and his zest for life. He credits a new, experimental treatment for his success and remains positive despite knowing it might not be a permanent solution. Neil's inspirational attitude shines through. He focuses on the present, embracing his good health and future goals, all while maintaining a realistic outlook. News 2. The NFL world is in mourning after the sudden passing of Dallas Cowboys great Larry Allen at the age of 52. Allen, a dominant offensive lineman for 14 seasons, was a cornerstone of the Cowboys' success in the 1990s, including their Super Bowl XX victory. Despite a challenging upbringing in Compton, California, Allen's undeniable talent and unwavering determination propelled him to football stardom. He overcame personal struggles and defied expectations, becoming a second-round draft pick for the Cowboys. Allen's impact went beyond the field. He was a beloved teammate known for his strength, work ethic, and dedication to his family. Tributes poured in on social media, highlighting his legendary feats and the respect he commanded from both teammates and opponents. The Dallas Cowboys organization expressed their deepest condolences to the Allen family. 
Larry Allen's legacy will live on as one of the greatest offensive linemen and most respected figures in NFL history.